How are we? Christmas is a time we come together every year to celebrate the life of a chap from an impressive background who went on to inspire people far and wide. But enough about me. I'm reminded of the need during these woke times to remain classic, to not listen to the undergraduates with blue hair whinging about this so-called cost of living crisis. What is a cost of living crisis? I haven't seen one, and nor have any of my friends from Oxford. Up until its midpoint, 2022 was a très strong year for moi. I played to literally thousands of people at the Clapham Grand. I shagged 84 worldies and 25 other women. I also became a hooligan after my great friend Stephen Bartlett recommended that I try it. But after the midpoint, things took a turn for the worse. I was evicted from number 10 in a way that I thought was only reserved for people from less important classes. I was also going through a fairly prolonged dry spell and a girl that I'd slept with was circulating the rumour on WhatsApp circles that I had a sloppy rig. I'd hit rock bottom. Was it all over for hubris? Was I to sack off my career and pursue the much more shameful lower path of becoming a hedge fund manager? Or even worse, a management consultant? <laughs> Obviously not, chaps. I have at least some self-respect. No, chaps. I vowed to build back better. Like a conventionally attractive phoenix rising from the ashes, Ray Fubris will be remodeling himself in the media domain. If Matt Cog and his hands can do it, so can Ray Fubris. That's right, I'm sacking off being full-time political advisory and being full-time media personality. 2023 is, excuse me, 2023 is going to be the year of Ray Fubris. Oh fuck, sorry, Christmas, yes, uh, sorry. Whichever home county you're celebrating Christmas in this year, very, very Merry Christmas and a classic New Year.